Hey, this is Buzz with episode 50 of Airwaves. In this episode, I'm going to show you what happens when you let the smoke out of your antenna tuner. That's next on Airwaves. Buzz Stones Airwaves. Thanks for tuning in to episode 50 of Airwaves. And as promised, I'm going to show you uh, what not to do uh, with your antenna tuner. And uh, a little bit later on in the episode here, I'm going to show you uh, the replacement that I got for this tuner. Uh, this is a, an older tuner. It's a Vectronix VC300M. Picked it up on eBay mm, about three months ago. It's like 80 bucks. So, you know, it didn't have a big investment in it, but it was working really well. Uh, I was using it uh, primarily with my ICOM IC7300 and uh, using it with both an 80 meter dipole and a 10 meter vertical antenna. And uh, one night I was trying to tune up my 80 meter dipole to use it on um, 160 meters. And of course, uh, you know, that's not an easy thing to do. And uh, I was tuning around and there's a couple things that uh, I did wrong. First of all, when I bought the tuner, I did not, I did open it up but just to make sure there weren't any loose parts laying around in there you know everything looked fine but one thing i neglected to do was to clean it give it a good cleaning get all the dust off of it and uh another mistake that i made was here on the um inductor you can see this is kind of a step it's got you know a through l here on the dial and you can see this here going around on each one of uh, the contacts here on the inductor coil. Now, right there you can see actually it's gotten st stuck. And what had happened is there's a little uh, copper connector here uh, that makes contact with uh, each uh, part of the coil that had gotten loose also there's two little set screws there and so that's why it would get in a bind sometimes and you can see right here this is the uh, the burn mark here on the inductor actually it's even f much worse on down it's not that's out of the view of the camera there but this doesn't spin you know this does and the uh, mistake I made, other than not cleaning the coil, was as I was trying to tune it uh, for 160 meters, I was turning this back and forth rather rapidly instead of doing it one step at a time. Well, apparently what happened is there had been dust built up here on the inductor. And, and I had the, uh, the radio set to only 10%, 7300, so it's a 100 watt radio, so you know theoretically we're talking about 10 watts of power so I did have that down that's another thing you want to make sure anytime you're tuning up uh, an antenna using an antenna tuner you want to make sure your radio is on low power but even at 10 watts apparently uh, because of a dust buildup on here I got some arcing from the RF and uh, I smelled something that smelled really bad never really saw any smoke come out uh, but the smell was obvious, you know, there was something going on, so I shut it down, opened it up, and saw this. Now, the tuner will still pass RF, um, so it does work to some degree, but fortunately, I had already ordered a new tuner a couple of days before this happened, and it was, you know, on its way here. So I was only down for about two days uh, without a tuner. But uh, what I want to tell you, and also, uh, even if it's a brand new unit, you need to take the top off, look inside, make sure everything's tightened down the way it should be. Uh, of course, if it's new, there shouldn't be any, any dirt or dust build up in there. But I, I did replace it with a uh, newish tuner. It had very little use. And uh, even the guy I bought it from, he says, okay, I'm shipping it to you. 
you know, you know how they treat uh, uh, freight, and they'll throw boxes around. Make sure you open it up. Make sure every all the connections are tight. You know, tug on the on the wires. You know, make sure all the solder joints are good before you use it. Which which I did, and it's, it's worked fine. But I also uh, thought, okay. Uh, you know, this has happened once. It could happen again. So I found another uh, backup tuner. It's an old, uh, and I'll show it to you. Well, let's, let's just go ahead and, and cut over to the other two tuners. Okay, now uh, we switched over uh, the view here to the, the other two tuners I mentioned. First of all, this one right here. I love this tuner. This is really well made. It's a Comet. Uh, they're made in Japan. The model is the CAT 300. Uh, so CAT Comet Antenna Tuner or CAT 300. Uh, this is a manual tuner. And uh, I love the, the meter on this thing. You can see it's, it's lit up here, multicolored meter. Uh, makes it very easy uh, to see the, the readings on there. And as I mentioned, I did open this up, checked all the connections, and uh, everything, you know, was good to go. And uh, not only this tuner, but any manual tuner like this, uh, one thing I want you to keep in mind is there's a band selector on the tuner. So, you know, if you're on uh, 20 meters or uh, 40 meters, you know, there's a corresponding number here to put this on. Now that works if the antenna you're trying to tune up to is specifically um, cut for that frequency okay unfortunately because of lack of space and until I get my tower up which uh, I've got one uh, I have found one and they're going to be delivering it here hopefully before too long I get that up and I'll have more antenna space but what I'm working with basically I have an 80 meter dipole and a 10 meter vertical now you know let's say you were on uh, 14 megahertz uh, 20 meters uh, if you had a 20 meter dipole antenna that's definitely where you would want to put it to start your your tuning process but I don't have one of those so what I have found is that uh, what I will do is if I say I've got the 80 meter dipole selected I'll take this band selector and I'll have the radio on have the volume turned up and I'll just tune around and you'll notice as you do this that the audio level will change when I find the selector the position where I hear the loudest audio that's telling me uh, that the tuner and the radio like what they're hearing so that will be my starting point and uh, then I'll go ahead you know and do the antenna tune and the, well here it's called a TR tune transmitter tune and the X tune uh, the radio tune on here um, and that generally works out pretty good I've been able to tune uh, either my 10 meter vertical or my 80 meter dipole on every band that this radio works on and I've made contacts uh, Believe it or not, I was on, uh, I believe it was um, 17 uh, meters and operating at 100 watts on my 10 meter vertical. I talked to two stations uh, in Germany last week and they were amazed, you know, A, the antenna I was using and that I was only 100 watts. Uh, so, you know, even if you don't have an antenna that's exactly, you know, tuned for the frequency you're operating on you still can operate if you've got a tuner now of course the 7300 which you can't see it to the right here of this radio has an automatic tuner in it which works okay if again you have you know the exact antenna you need for that frequency or that band uh, but I found very quickly that uh, it would wasn't really wouldn't really tune anything unless it was you know a, a very well uh, designed antenna for that frequency so I had to get the, the manual tuner and with that um, you know I, w I am able to tune on basically on any frequency I want to operate on and uh, you know work successfully uh, to go over this tuner just give you some features on it it has a power range it's, a th it's rated at 300 watts 
you have this uh, switch here in and out switch uh, to go between 30 watts and 300 watts of course when you're tuning you would put it on the 30 watt um, uh, selector and you have your radio turned down I generally do 10 to 15 percent power and then you also on this uh, meter you can measure either average or uh, PEP uh, reading for power on there you have a tuner in out button here that's a tuner on off switch and this one also has uh, capability for connecting two different antennas I'm not using that feature right now because um, I've got the uh, MFJ 1700C uh, multi switch uh, transceiver antenna switch down here I use it instead I may at some point uh, as I put up more antennas I'm, I'm sure I'm likely to more likely to use that and uh, so again uh, it has the uh, comes with a power cord uh, to light up the the meter the SWR power meter and I run that directly to the back of my uh, power supply over here so great little unit okay and as I said since it happened once I said well it could happen again and I really needed a small portable uh, antenna tuner for when I'm out in the field or maybe later uh, I've got a Zygu G90 you know HF radio I'm thinking about maybe putting that in my truck now it has a great uh, auto tuner in it uh, that thing will tune a clothesline but uh, still and also I have my uh, my go field pack radio field pack so I wanted a smaller portable antenna tuner for that found this on eBay uh, last week uh, ended up getting it for 41 bucks um, plus shipping it's a MFJ model uh, 941C it's a you know pretty old tuner but um, there are, uh, there's a selector switch in the back it also has uh, multiple coax connections for multiple antennas uh, in the back um, you can look that up online if you want to see that but you know basically has the same controls as this but uh, when I got this I said okay I'm not going to get bit twice so I opened it up sure enough uh, the antenna coil tuner here and transmitter the inductor was fine but these two when you turn the knob it was spinning with the knob you know not a, a whole lot you know like maybe a quarter inch in either direction but both of these were loose so took the knob off tightened the uh, the nut here uh, up against the uh, the casing of the tuner got those in there solid and I've been using it with my uh, antitone AT uh, 5555 N uh, which I use with my Starduster M400 antenna and uh, it's worked really well tuning up uh, with that so that's my backup unit and again of course I use it with the uh, the Anytone radio so just uh, some ideas uh, you know I want to let you know what happened to me so it won't happen to you and uh, you know faux pas on my part but you live you learn right so anyway this has been episode number 50 of airwaves uh, thank you for tuning in I uh, also want to mention that uh, this is episode 50 although I've done more than 50 videos because uh, several of the uh, episodes are multi-part um, videos so but anyway it's kind of a milestone episode 50 and uh, coincidentally at the same time this week we uh, passed 500 subscribers so appreciate that and it's growing seems like once to hit 400 it, kind of started accelerating I appreciate everybody who subscribes and the people who haven't who uh, who just uh, watch tune in from time to time but if you subscribe then you can hit that uh, bell icon on my home page you'll get notifications when new videos come out makes it a little bit easier for you but anyway thanks for tuning in and uh, episode 51 is coming up next so stay tuned and we'll see you down the dial